that's my cue. <laughs> Shit. Oh, man. Does, um, does Bill Cosby no. at least get credit for not letting that bitch drive home on a DUI? <laughs> Could have got a DUI, nigga. <laughs> Get a man some credit. Jeez, she could have died behind that wheel. You know? I'm not even mad at him. I'm not mad at him at all. You know? He's he did essentially what niggas like what we be trying to do when we be getting bitches drunk off that henny. <laughs> He just found a more efficient way to do it. <laughs> he was like, fuck that liquid, nigga. She gonna need some acid. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. You know, I'm not, I don't approve, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, dog. You know, ladies, w would you fuck Bill Cosby? You say no, you say no, you say no, and that's why he did it. <laughs> Y'all not giving up that pussy? Not even a legend's like, who are you fucking? Like, well good thing, keep fucking, keep fucking Mike and Jiffy Lube then, bitch. I made you laugh for years. I raised you. <laughs> Shit. I guess. I mean, all right. Shit. I've root for the girl before. Gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, man. You know, he look at him bobbing his head. Yup. <laughs> you know, I remember one day, okay, I was in I was in the club, all right, and I had a roofie, and then I dropped it in a bitch's drink and uh, excuse me, oh, all right, uh, I already said it. It was a bitch's drink. <laughs> and I know she was a bitch because she was wearing some bitch shit. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, anyway, she was kind of asking for it. And, all right, anyway, so I, so I drop that, I drop it up in her drink, I drop it in her drink, and then as soon as I go to catch her, another nigga walked off with my bitch. <laughs> I was like, nigga, really? You saw me put that shit up in there, man. <laughs> you a hater, man. But I still had two more. <laughs> it don't stop. <laughs> Dropped it up in some more drinks. Kss, kss. You know, caught my bitch. Ah, boom. Took her all the way back to my house. Put her in my bed, and I slept on the couch. And when she woke up, she was all scared and shit. <gasps> oh my God, oh my God, what, what, what? And I said, girl, relax, all right? We was in the club last night and I roofied you. <laughs> you know, but I didn't fuck. All right? So now that you know that you can trust a nigga, um, <laughs> don't you think you should give me some of that? That's all women are looking for, right? Just a little bit of trust. You know why I fuck with white women now? It's because black women aren't into P&O niggas yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, man, dog, I, you know, <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm just at a, a level of, of my sexuality where I just need to be getting pissed on and shit, man. <laughs> you know, that, 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 you know, like that ride and shit, that's cool and shit. That's for the babies, but I'm a man. I'm gonna need y'all to piss on me. <laughs> Hell yeah, I didn't, it, that shit's so warm. Piss is so warm on you. Mm. A lot of white bitches think I can fuck. And they're right, they're right. I can fuck, I can fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I have, you know what, I, I have hood dick. You know what I'm saying? Like, I grew up fucking in the hood, you know? So 
you know, like by the time I was 29, nigga, I done ran through every, like, like the meanest hood rats of all time pussy. <laughs> Like, nigga, my dick done been through it. So what the fuck these pink bitches think that I'm gonna do to their fucking pussy? <laughs> I fucked a bitch in the alley when I was 15, motherfucker. What you think I'm gonna do to your little pink pussy? <laughs> they say I lack passion and shit, man. They say, I don't, you don't go slow, you don't go slow. And I said, I got a hood dick, okay? I was taught to beat that <laughs> pussy up. <laughs> Yeah. Excuse me, I didn't have a father. <laughs> and neither does my son. My name's Jamar Neighbors. Thank you and good night. Picture this, you're young, good looking, and everyone tells you you have what it takes to make in this country. Some people don't have access to the basics like healthcare, education, housing. Some suffer from mental illness, live in fear of gangs and law enforcement. Substance abuse and the environment are both preventable social issues. Climate change is no joke, people. Drink more water. Do we as a country have what it takes for a better tomorrow? So watch tomorrowpictures.tv.